It required us to make immediate adjustments all over the state uh, and changes to all of our uh, distribution. Governor Larry Hogan responding to the bombshell dropped by the feds Tuesday morning. The FDA asking all COVID-19 vaccinators to immediately stop administering the Johnson & Johnson jab due to concerns about rare blood clotting. Six U.S. cases reported out of some 7 million shots so far. No, we have no cases in Maryland um, at all. Not, not, not yet. An announcement soon after from the Maryland Department of Health. Out of an abundance of caution, MDH is directing all providers in the state to pause the administration of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines until further notice from the feds. At an unrelated event this afternoon, we asked Governor Hogan what this means for Maryland's vaccination campaign. The only thing that's directly impacted is FEMA has, t for today at least, stopped their uh, mobile units. As for Marylanders who've made appointments through a local health department. Yeah, we're working through those details right now. Um, so I, it's it's going to be, the, the goal is going to be to reschedule them. Harford County and Baltimore City announcing they will stop using the J&J &J COVID shot. Baltimore County is two, officials told residents in a tweet. Same for Howard County, officials tell 11 News in an email. No J&J &J supply on hand, though, because all 400 doses were administered over the last week. Anna Arundel's health officer says the 200 doses of J&J &J his office has right now going in storage. And Governor Hogan today said where people may really feel and notice the impact of this is that some local retail pharmacies or some local doctor's offices that are using Johnson & Johnson. He said if that happens to you, if you may find yourself in that situation, get in touch with one of the local state-run mass vac sites, which should be able to accommodate you. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, thank you very much. Get breaking news updates about Johnson & Johnson's vaccine with the WBAL-TV app. Make sure to allow notifications to get those alerts sent right to your phone.